Hey friends, Daniel here with the Leap Ages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. Using our form widget and integration settings, collecting leads for your business is a breeze. You can add forms directly to your page, site, or pop-up. During this video, we'll talk about connecting integrations, filtering spam opt-ins, and setting up a follow-up for those that subscribe, like a thank you page and lead magnet. Now, as you can see here, I do have a landing page already pulled up within our lead pages account. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the form widget onto our page. Now, a form widget can be added onto the face of our page, creating a one-step opt-in process, or the form widget can be added within a pop-up creating a two-step process. Now, I did wanna make sure to mention that most of our templates will already include a two-step opt-in process. As you can see here, I do have a pop-up connected to the button and a form widget on it. And as we're talking about this two-step opt-in process, I did wanna make sure to mention that we have seen improved conversion performance with a two-step opt-in process. And as a side benefit, you do maintain an uncluttered landing page. But if I did want to go ahead and add a form widget onto the face of my page, creating a one-step opt-in process, I could do so by finding the form widget under the widgets menu and then dragging and dropping that form widget onto the page where I'd like it to appear. I'm going to go ahead and focus in on the form widget within our pop-up here. So I'll go ahead and pull that up now. And I'm going to access the form settings by putting my mouse over the form and clicking on edit integration. Now from this point, I'm gonna go through all of the steps of the form, but I did wanna make sure to mention that I do have a few options. As you can see here, I can edit my button by clicking on the button. And then if I click into a form field, I do have the option to edit those fields a little bit, changing the color, the text, and the labels and where they lie. Now, let's go ahead and just dive into one integrations, and we'll go through each of these in order. Now, our first option here is the name your form option. And we can designate whatever we like to name our form here. When you're using the lead notifications integration, this name is going to be important because it lets you know which form specifically subscribers do opt in on as this name shows in the lead notifications email. Now I do have lead notifications selected currently. This is the default and we do have to have an integration selected here but I do wanna go ahead and integrate with MailChimp. So I'm gonna go ahead and select add an integration. I have already connected my MailChimp account, but if I hadn't done that already, I would go ahead and do so under more services, select MailChimp and enter in the requested information. And as you can see here, these are our native integrations. And if you scroll down, we do have a connection with Zapier as well. Now talking about Zapier, I did wanna make sure to mention that Zapier is a secondary integration. It does need to have another integration present with it. So say for example, you could use Zapier and our lead notifications integration. I already have MailChimp connected, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, and I'm going to select MailChimp, refresh my list, and once this refreshes, I'm going to go ahead and select the audience in MailChimp that I'd like to send my opt-in information to. So let's let that refresh, and we'll select our destination, and I'm going to find my audience. Once I find my audience, I'm going to click on it to select it, and I do wanna wait till that checks off showing that it's integrated. Now that I have MailChimp selected, I can remove the lead notifications integration if I'd like, not having that email with subscribers information sent to me. So I can go ahead and remove that by clicking the trash can icon and delete. Now as we move down, I do have the option to enable spam bot protection and I can do so by turning this toggle into the on position and following the steps outlined here using the following information. Now for spam bot protection, I just wanted to make sure to mention that our system will filter out any opt-ins to your form that were submitted without a JavaScript call. For example, a human didn't click the submit button on the form. Spam submissions are still available for you to view in the CSV download of your opt-ins, but a lead notifications email will not be sent for these submissions and they will not be counted as a conversion in your analytics. And this is something that's set on a form by form basis. Now that we've gone through this, we can go ahead and either click on two fields or we can go next fields here. In the field section, we're gonna designate what fields we'd like to collect. So what we'd like our subscribers to enter and the form fields are gonna pull from whatever we select from one integrations here. So by default, email address is going to be required 
lead pages and email service providers do require that and it does help you grow your list which is the intent so this is going to be a padlocked field I'm gonna go ahead and add a field and I'm going to add in first name and I can even change this to say name so a, a visitor will see that they enter in their name if I'd like to but just keep in mind that doesn't change the field role if I change that so I'm gonna go ahead and say done and I'm going to then add another field and I want to add in this what do you need help with field which is a drop down field that I created within MailChimp system and both of these fields of course are coming from MailChimp that's the integration I selected here I'm going to go ahead and select done now I can change the order of these form fields using these directional arrows here moving name up above email address and I can of course delete name if I want using this trash can icon and delete now that I've set up the form fields that I want to collect, let's head into three actions, either clicking three actions or next actions. Here, I'm going to set the thank you page that I want people to see after they submit their information. So by default, the default lead pages thank you page is selected and you can view that page, what it looks like by using this eye icon here. But you can select a landing page that you created in your lead pages account to send people to after they submit their information. And of course, you can always change that using the change option here and view that page by using the eye icon here. You can also send people to an external URL. So maybe you have like a Facebook group or a website that you created outside of lead pages or a website that you created in lead pages. You can enter in that URL here or you can have visitors remain on the page. So once they submit their information, this button will say thank you. Now our last option here is email a file or link to visitors who complete this form. And this is our lead magnet delivery service here inside of lead pages that allows you to send a one-time email with a file attached to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select add a lead magnet. I already do have a lead magnet entered into the lead magnet section of my lead pages account, but if you didn't already have that, just click on add a new lead magnet in account settings. This will pull up the lead magnet section of your account where you can go ahead and add in that lead magnet. And then that will actually open in a new browser tab. So you can click back over into your browser tab here so refresh and then go ahead and select that lead magnet that you've added and to select it you just go ahead and click on the name here once you've clicked on it it's going to check off just like this and then that file will be attached and you can remove that file by clicking the trash icon here not sending that out now once you have everything you want set go ahead and save and close i'm going to go ahead and click out of our pop-up now I want to thank you for hanging out with me for this tech tip. And don't forget, if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away under the question mark within your Lead Pages account.